Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. Um, the last few days I've uploaded videos that show similar problems to this, solving piecewise functions, uh, or rather making sure that piecewise functions are continuous. Um, if you haven't checked out any of those already, I'd recommend you go check those out first. I'm going to kind of skip to a bit of a shortcut uh, that is kind of specific to this problem, and I'm not going to you know, explain in quite as much detail as I have been in my previous videos, kind of the reason why we're doing this stuff. So I'd recommend starting there and then come back to this video. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So again, we're basically just trying to find the value of the constant C that makes this piecewise function continuous everywhere, where our function F is defined by this piecewise function here. So we have for all x values that are not 2, it's defined by this rational function here. And then when x equals 2, it's defined by this constant c. So the reason why we just have this function or this kind of piece of our piecewise function defined here for all x that's not equal to 2, looking at this rational function, um, you can see that if we plug in x equals 2 here, we would get as 2 minus 2, which is 0 on the denominator. So this rational function is actually not defined for x equals 2. So what we want to think about is kind of what piece is basically missing from this rational function at x equals 2. So let's first of all just kind of think about this function, this rational function by itself. So let's just take 2x squared minus x minus 6 over x minus 2. And what I want to think about is this numerator here, whether or not that can be factored out. And in fact, it can. We can actually factor out an x, x minus 2 out of it. So this will be x minus 2 times 2x plus 3. So we could think about kind of foiling this out. And if we foiled this out, we would get back to this polynomial here. So this is equivalent to that, and it's all going to be over x minus 2. So let's think about this fraction here for a second. We have an x minus 2 factor on the numerator, and we also have an x minus 2 factor on the denominator. So these will actually cancel out, right? So this fraction is actually equivalent to 2x plus 3, except the issue is it's not defined when x equals 2. So these are the same except when x equals 2, there's actually going to be a hole in that, that function. So basically, instead of thinking of this piecewise function as being defined as, as this, we can actually say that it is instead 2x plus 3 for all x's that are not equal to 2. Because we know that 2x plus 3 equals this fraction here, except when x equals 2. But since we're not defining our function by this piece, at x equals 2, it's only x's that are not 2, this will actually be equivalent to that. So instead, we could think of our piecewise function as 2x plus 3 for all x's that are not 2, and then this constant c when x equals 2. So all we really need to do is make sure that at x equals 2, our constant c kind of fills in the hole that we have up in this function here. So to do that, all we really need to do is figure out what the value of this function is when x equals 2, and then kind of put c to be that, that value so that it fills in the hole. So to do that, all we need to do is figure out the value of this at x equals 2. We just have to plug in 2 for x. And whatever this is, we need to make c be equivalent to that. So simplifying this, we'll just get 2 times 2 is 4, which 4 plus 3 would be 7. So if we make C 7, that'll kind of fill in the hole that we would have in our other piece of our piecewise function, meaning that our piecewise function as a whole would not have any holes left in it, because it would. so therefore it would be continuous for all x values. 